Quentin and Theodore Roosevelt Jr. are both the sons of President Teddy Roosevelt. They're both buried here in the American National Cemetery in Normandy, France. Turn the camera around here so you can see. In the middle, you see Theodore Roosevelt. He was the oldest son of President Roosevelt. He landed at Utah Beach. He was also the assistant division commander of the 4th ID. He personally petitioned that he be allowed to deploy with the 4th ID, but his commanding general really didn't want him to because he didn't feel like he would survive it. Uh, he had some health problems. He also knew that he led from the front, but uh, he reluctantly approved General Roosevelt's request. He was one of the first off of the landing craft on Utah Beach. He was a mile off course. He did have some health problems. Uh, he walked with a cane from a World War I injury, and he had some health heart problems that uh, he had hidden from all the military doctors because he wanted to continue to serve. He preferred the heat of battle. He was loved by his men and by superiors, but General Patton and Omar Bradley had some issues with him because they said that he loved his division too much. When he was asked, though, to describe the single most heroic action he'd ever seen, Omar Bradley said, Ted Roosevelt on Utah Beach. And Bradley had selected him for promotion to two-star Major General and Command of the 90th Infantry Division. Theodore Roosevelt Ted died of heart attack on July 12th. On the battlefield, he was 56 years old. And over right next to him is Quentin Roosevelt, his brother. He was the youngest son of President Theodore Roosevelt. It was said that Quentin had many of his father's positive qualities and few of his negative ones. He was a U.S. Army Air Corps pursuit pilot in World War I. He was extremely popular with his fellow pilots. He was daring and said to be notoriously brave. He was killed over France. He was shot down by Lieutenant Carl Tom, who was one of the greatest flying aces of the war. Quentin was shot two times in the head. He was buried by the Germans and thousands of American of, and, and allied soldiers visited his grave. Once that area was liberated, it became both a shrine and an inspiration to them. Uh, it was very difficult for President Teddy Roosevelt to accept. It actually just crushed him. He never fully recovered, and six months later, Teddy himself would pass away. Quentin was exhumed from Chamarie here to Normandy to be buried with his brother, Ted. Theodore Ted Roosevelt, Jr. and Quentin Roosevelt, both here right off of Omaha Beach.